योर मैजिस्टी आई वेलकम यू मान सिंह जी वी हैव ऑल हर्ड हाउ यू सिंगल हैंडेडली कॉट द नोटोरियसली डेंजरस बैंडेट जंगा आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू ऑन योर ब्रेवरी थैंक यू योर मैजिस्टी वेर इज द बैंडेट मान सिंह जी प्लीज प्रेजेंट हिम इन द कोर्ट I would like to hand out the strictest of punishment to him for harassing the people of my empire for months together. Your Majesty, please forgive me. On our way to the palace while we were crossing the village river, the bandit suddenly disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? How can somebody disappear like that? Your Your Majesty, please believe me. I too was stumped. I don't know how he escaped from our clutches. I searched for him high and low but he was nowhere to be found in fact since it was such a sunny afternoon the river too was deserted except for a sadhu who was bathing at the river janga just vanished your majesty enough that's enough man singh ji i will hear no more of this nonsense after all the faith i had in you 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 have disappointed me i banish you from my kingdom yo your majesty I promise to find him. Please, please, just give me one more chance. Enough! You will not get any more chances. Leave my kingdom at once, else I shall have the guards throw you out of my court. Maharani, Maharani, Your Majesty. You seem a little upset, Maharani. I have banished your brother Man Singh from my kingdom. He has utterly failed me. He let a dangerous bandit get away from him. But, but your Majesty, I'm sure it wasn't his fault. And Man Singh would soon apprehend him again. He cannot make such a dangerous mistake, Maharani. I am very displeased with him. Give him a second chance, Your Majesty. After all he is my brother you must keep this fact in mind also enough maharani i will not listen to any more pleas regarding man singh so what if he is your brother no one is above the law of the land but your majesty man singh is no ordinary courtier you cannot do this to him maharani now you too have offended me with your unjust demand no one can disobey me the emperor I banish you too from my kingdom. Huh? You can take along with you things that are most precious to you: gold, silver, diamond, jewelry. Take whatever you like, but leave the palace within the next 24 hours. <laughs> my dear sister, has someone hurt your feelings? Why are you crying? Brother, I spoke to the emperor to forgive you and not banish you from the kingdom. I ended up offending him instead, so he banished me too. Oh, what should I do now? Where will I go? Don't worry, sister. We will think of a way out. There's no way out. The emperor even refuses to listen to me. Why don't we approach Birbal? He is so clever. I am sure he can help us out of this situation. Yes, that is a good idea. Only he can help us out of this. Oh. So that is why the emperor has banished you from the kingdom too. Don't worry my lady, I have an idea which I'm sure will not fail. But I need you to do exactly as I say. I am prepared to do anything to stay with the emperor. All right. Here is what you have to do. Greetings your majesty. The queen has sent a special request for you. Before she leaves for her father's place, she wants to have a last dinner with you. Hmm. Please inform her that I shall be there in a while. Your majesty, I am truly sorry for offending you, and I do deserve the punishment. Uh oh. I have decided to stay at my father's place henceforth. Thank you for agreeing to have a last dinner with me, your majesty. Please have some sherbet while dinner is served. 
Thank you. Terrible headache. Maharani, why haven't you left as yet? Oh, uh, where am I? Your Majesty, we are at my father's house. How did I land up at your father's house? Maharani, who brought me here and why am I here? Allow me to explain, Your Majesty. I brought you here. Why? I banished you from a kingdom. How dare you disobey my orders? I haven't disobeyed your orders, Your Majesty. I have only followed them. Followed my orders? I asked you to leave my palace, Maharani, and not to get me along. Your Majesty, you said I could take along whatever was most precious to me. Well, you are the one who is most precious to me, Your Majesty. So I have only obeyed your orders. Hmm? <laughs> that was very clever, Maharani. Very clever. I take back my orders. You may come back to the palace and stay with me. Thank you. Not so soon, Maharani. I know this clever plan was thought by someone else. Whose idea was this? You are absolutely right, Your Majesty. It was Birbal's idea. <laughs> I knew it. It had to be Birbal only. Greetings, Your Majesty. Man Singh, why are you still here? Didn't I banish you from a kingdom? And who is this man with you? Your, Your Majesty, please forgive me for disobeying your orders. But I wanted to present Janga in the court today. Thanks to Birbal, we managed to find him. How did you find him? Your Majesty, when I told Birbal about how Janga had escaped from her clutches, it is he who suggested that the presence of the sadhu in that river was too much of a coincidence. So, we went back to the same village in search of the sadhu. When we found him, we discovered that it was none other than Janga, who was living under the guise of a sadhu. Mm. Very well done. Bravo, Birbal. That was very clever of you. You have once again proven that you are simply the best Birbal. Man Singh Ji, I take back the punishment now, since you have accomplished your task very efficiently. Well done. Bravo. Long live Long live Long live